Uh, is there any research that shows how massage, meditation, breathing can actually help during cancer treatment? Yes, there is some clinical research that has shown massage may be able to reduce pain and fatigue, decrease anxiety and depression, lessen nausea, and enhance sleep, and also uh, help with body image, and really just a greater sense of well-being. I think between massage and yoga, guided meditation and breathing exercises, it really taps into the relaxation response in the body. And we know when we get to a place of um, the parasympathetic where our body goes mm -hmm. into homeostasis, mm -hmm. everything then is in balance. And if we're stressed, our body is just pumping cortisol through our body, systems are out of whack, and as we know, stress is not good for our bodies. And when we're trying to heal from surgeries or uh, secondary side effects from chemotherapy, and we're just pumped full of stress, everything hurts more. Mm -hmm. So what's wonderful about massage and yoga and meditation, it really does get the body into the relaxation response. And we know what that feels like when we're at that place of just calm. Things just don't hurt so much. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit in detail what breathing exercises you will do in conjunction with your clinical mm -hmm. massage therapy? Well, we include um, the guided, a guided meditation mm -hmm. and some breathing exercises, mm -hmm. especially post-surgery. A lot of women after surgery are rounded, they're mm -hmm. protecting, mm -hmm. and there's also a lot of pain. They might have drains, and they're like this, and they're in a lot of discomfort mm -hmm. because they're only breathing up here. So right. And they're afraid to be vulnerable. So they're probably afraid to pull any stitches or it's course. painful or something. And it's New York City, so everyone's right. walking yeah. around protecting. <laughs> yeah. So we really take our time with um, post-surgery patients and really, with their hands as well, allow them to soften their chest, practice breathing from the belly, the ribs, the chest, the three-part breath. Um, we also really help them include breath in their whole body. And it's amazing how their pain will be reduced after these breathing sessions because they're just holding for so oh, long. And stressed. Yes. With the guided meditation, is mm. it something that you take them through? So they'll sit in a chair and, and you'll, with your voice, take them through a 15-minute meditation or a guided meditation? Yes, sometimes um, with patients during biopsies and sometimes patients for their first chemo treatments are really nervous, um, sometimes on the verge of a panic attack. And I always just ask them, are, are you open to something? And most of the times they're open to anything. And I usually take them on a journey. Sometimes I ask them if they prefer to go to a beach, a mountain, or something that's, that calms them normally. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of make it up in that moment and just watch them and figure out where they need to go. And I just had a patient last week who was having a panic attack and um, during chemotherapy. And we did this almost a 30 minute guided meditation and we were actually laughing through it because I was making up all sorts of incredible, <laughs> wonderful birds and dinosaurs and just this world. But it's what she needed in that moment. That's what made her feel calm. So most people respond really well, obviously, to the guided meditation, the breathing and the massage therapy. Yes, but sometimes people's coping skills aren't that. Sometimes somebody's coping skills might need to have the TV on really loud and talk and show pictures on their cell phone or show me Facebook photos while they're getting a massage. And I realize that that's how they need to cope. I try and offer a more serene setting mm -hmm. of closing the lights and maybe putting music on or just some quiet. And for some patients, that actually brings up fear. So it's really learning again in that moment, what does this person need at this moment? And if it's just really loud, bad TV, then that actually helps them calm down and that's okay too.